What's up guys, Monster and Fanatic here. We're at my local Walmart. Gonna go on a little spending spree. Hopefully they actually have stuff. Usually days I bring money, they don't have anything. So fingers crossed, we'll see here. Finally empty so I can talk. Bunch of Hot Wheels. Doesn't look like anything fresh though. And here are the trucks, wow. Let me put my basket down. I have not seen the peg this full in forever. Wow, this looks so good. Looks like they have some remainder trucks from the Easter bin, mix 22. Do still have a lumberjack, but I did complete that mix. Um, this is a new truck here. This is like the Crash Edition Race Ace. Definitely gonna put that in the basket. Let me put the basket up. Oh, they have new minis too. Um, that is the one with Zombie, I think. Is that mix four or five? I don't really know. After I show you what's here, I'll pause and look through the codes and I'll tell you if they have a chase piece. Um, here's another new truck, the Unimog. Someone staring at me, guys. Love that when you record in stores. Uh, we have a Motosaurus in like black and blue. This is a new truck, El Superfasto. Um, the casting itself came out a couple years ago, but that body, like that color is new. Um, I think this is the one with the new Bigfoot, like the case. Oh, I do need this though. This is a carryover from like last year, but I never got it then. So I'm gonna get it today. Here's the Chum and Get It. Saw that at my Kroger, but I passed it up because I didn't have any money that day. Now for the new two packs for Spin Master here. Um, they do have this, which I need. Um, so I need the Husky and Monster Mutt, the Dragon Away Batman, and then here's the Calavero and Gravedigger Boneyard. I'll pick those two up, even though the Gravedigger Boneyard is a re-release. Here is the Dragonoid and Batman. Again, this Dragonoid is a re-release. I'm going to be getting it just for that Batman primarily. Wow, we are filling up the cart. These, I was thinking about getting since I do collect everything I say, but I just cannot get myself to get it. Um, here is the 124 scale Calavera. Honestly, this is like the only one I really wanted from this mix. I like the red primer too, but like half of my 124 scales are grave diggers, so I may get this to change it up. We'll put that in there. It's a maybe. It's not a definite, but we're gonna put that in there for now. I think that's all for the Hot Wheels. Oh wait, that's the DeLorean case. Um, I also have to put these two in here. Let's see what else. Um, I thought I thought that Mud Truck Bigfoot was in this case. I guess not. And of course, no Samson uh, Treasure Hunt. So we'll put those in there as well. Let's take a look at more double packs. Um, doesn't look like they have the Husky two pack, which sucks, but they do still have a good variety of two packs in general. This is a lot of mixed one. They have some mixed one. That's from mixed two. And then I just got a couple packs from mixed three. There's another Dragonoid. So like mixed three, mixed one, mixed two. And then we have some Gears and Galaxies, all those Gears and Galaxies. I don't even know how those are still on the pegs, to be honest. We have more of these. Hopefully we can find a Monster Vet. Honestly, I don't think this is the mix that has Monster Vet. I can tell by the artwork that they are not Monster Vets. Um, I still love this two pack though. Um, honestly, since we're here, I might as well get these. This is a new two pack. I haven't gotten them yet. I'm just not really interested in them. So I might as well go put this one in my cart as well. To be honest, I had to pause the video to see which one of these Roar and Rumble two packs I have. I have two of them like two of the two packs and I could not even remember the ones I have so I actually do need this one I need those two right there and I feel like there's one more I need that scorpion one actually I need both of those right there so let's go look and see if we have them here there's more trucks up on the shelf as well so you can always get those this is a different one mummy oh wait no I already have that in my basket um mecha orca that's the one I have the monsters I also have that one looks like to be all the ones I need from the pegs, but um, I'm gonna look up there and then I'll get back to you guys, tell you if they have any of those other two doubles I'm looking for, and then we'll go through those. I just finished sorting them out. There's actually some mix four and a little bit of mix five. Actually, I got every single truck from mix four except the chase piece, of course, and then we're missing like three trucks from mix five, um, including the chase piece. So probably gonna pick these all up. Those are the le uh, leftovers. Probably gonna put the Calavera back just because <laughs> I didn't know there were two mixes in the same uh, bin. So I'll be getting all these, putting the Calavera back, and then I'll get home and show you guys what I got. And now we are back home, guys. Here are all of the things that I got at my local Walmart today. We got some Hot Wheels Monster Truck singles, some doubles, we even got some Spin Master doubles. And of course we got a lot of Monster Jam minis. Um, the top one right here is Mix 5. And then this is all Mix 4. Somehow 
well as able to find a lot for mixed four. So the cheese piece for this is max D. I got 10 out of the 12. I'm only missing, I think, zombie and then the gold chase piece. And then for this one, I'm still missing like five. Um, not the whole mix was there, but I do have a lot of mixed four. Obviously, I have a few more than mixed five. So we're going to be taking these all out of the package. I'm going to be opening them separately, but I will see you guys in a few minutes once I get this whole floor cleared out. And you are about to see all these trucks loose side by side in the exact same order as you see right now right now and we are back i got them all open that quickly take a look at everything that i got here this is about a hundred dollars give or take um i definitely went on a little spending spree honestly they were so stocked with trucks i was so happy to see the pegs stocked like that I haven't seen it that stocked in a while let's go over the roar and rumble moss trucks that we got first we got the monster right here this thing looks very very awesome i'll put it in normal here very very nice looking truck we have the werewolf in this red that used to be the hot riler bot, uh, body and it still is but they're calling this one the werewolf and then we have the piranha and then we have the swamp monster i love this one it's probably my favorite out of all of them it actually has a uh, front window decal of the eyes and stuff that looks sick that is probably my favorite two pack right there the green and purple and white just perfect combo not really a uh, big on these uh rolling rumble trucks still gonna get them but that one was definitely worth picking up same with this two pack I, I i'm not really big on those and i already got two other than two packs so i think i'm only missing two of them now but here's the next one we have the mega rex here um i don't know what they're calling it here but um not a bad looking one i like the red on it but i don't really know how i feel about the purple and yellow on it but the red coloring on it is very very awesome and this is also a metal piece now this is the updated mega rex body and then we have this one right here which is just called griffin um this is a pretty cool looking one it's kind of goofy looking but i mean i don't know what that's supposed to be on the side it looks like half eagle half like bull i don't even know it's out of focus but um very interesting looking truck but of course it's on the old uh ford body so you know i'm, I'm gonna love it anyway i love this body style but the green eh, kind of tacky in my opinion um uh, oh my gosh i have a lot of trash here um for the next uh two packs we have the spin masters i basically spent seven dollars on a yellow roll cage on that batman because the dragon is nothing different than the singles from mix 17 and then this batman no difference other than the yellow uh roll cage and the gray chassis same with this calavera and grave digger two pack that boneyard grave digger no difference at all than the mix 10 one and then this calavera the only difference i think that it may be a different wheel color but the other one that we got in mix 14 had a black uh chassis and this one has a pink one but honestly i prefer the pink or the black anyway so spent seven dollars on a chassis variant basically so not very too i'm uh, not very pleased with uh, this year's double packs i was hoping that we could get opportunities to get trucks that we may not have been able to see in singles um, I'm not going to name anything, but maybe even any independent trucks. That would have been very cool to see some independence um, in the two packs. I guess we can't get two packs like we did back in 2019. We had the most awesome two packs back in 2019. I mean, Husky, Slinger, Mystery Machine debuted in the two packs, but uh, I don't really know what happened. And then we have some of the Hot Wheels singles right here. We have Monosaurs, Chum and Get It, which is a real release from 2021, but um, never got it back then. And now I did, so we don't have to worry about that. We have the new L Super Fasto. It's kind of ironic. This truck is making a reappearance in the Hot Wheels Moss Truck line since 2019 and it's funny because the original l super fast though which i have is now going for like almost 200 dollars on ebay like in package i don't know how much it is loose maybe 50 I i'm assuming um next up we have the wreck edition or they're calling it the crash something race ace i love how this looks take a look at the graphics on the side we have the rip fiberglass well rip in the paint it's not actually ripped but it's just part of the detailing i think it looks awesome let's take another quick look at this truck it's all banged up looking look at this side that is very very awesome it looks like sewed up almost there's duct tape on the hood right there if you see that that is awesome looking i think this race ace looks very very awesome and then we have the dirt treads unimog i don't really know if that's how you what, what you call it mud treads dirt treads or whatever but it's literally brown tires brown wheels and then we have some mud up on the truck but i love the color on this unimog not as cool as the orange one we got back in 2021 but this is a pretty cool livery on this if i say so myself there's even some mud on the windshield right there i think that looks very very awesome as well very beautiful truck and now of course for the minis mix five is up here so we got the yellow toro loco and then my favorite one probably the uh green ghost grave digger red max d with orange wheels the fire megalodon with a deep orange on the tires and then we have a monster mutt with like a gray body kind of reminds me of the team scream uh chassis because it's that kind of shade of gray the desert soldier fortune normal son of a digger it does have a gray chassis but that does look very clean max contrast blue thunder we had this northern nightmare with a red roll cage and uh I don't, I don't really know how i feel about that same with this the yellow uh tires on this dragon is very tacky 
El Toro Loco again with the silver chassis or roll cage. I think that looks very, very awesome. We have this weird looking grave digger. Honestly, I don't really mind this. I think all the colors, um, the purple chassis, the green wheels, it kind of like complements the, the color of the body in my opinion. Not bad. I can't say the same about this Dragonoid though. The green on the on the tires, just it's not it for me. It is a transparent green. As you can tell the difference right here, you can actually see through the color on this Dragonoid. Um, but not on the Grave Digger, so it is kind of transparent. We have a Chrome Monster Mutt, very, very interesting looking. I'll, I was not expecting that. I didn't know that came out or existed, so I was confused, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. We have the Soldier Fortune right here with a dark green roll cage. We have the Megalodon with the blue tires, and then this kind of ugly earth shaker i mean the truck is cool but i don't really like the color of the tires it's literally like the color of my floors like i don't know what you call that but there you go guys thank you guys so much for watching this video tell me what was like the highlight that i got today was it the uh el super fasto since the value of it is going up or do you guys like the mini uh the minis or do you guys like the raw and rumbles or are you into the variants like those? I mean, honestly, I think uh, I think I like the minis the most, especially this Green Ghost Grave Digger. This is probably my favorite, definitely my favorite, actually, one of my same by far that I got today. The Green Ghost is one of my favorite Grave Diggers ever made next to the Chrome. I love this one, and it's very clean. They didn't do any stupid color on the tires of the roll cage. They kept it clean. Appreciate them very much for that, and I appreciate my Walmart still keeping it um, on the pegs for me um, when I got there because they, they didn't have a bulldozer, no gold chase piece, so at least I got that. And the Fire Megalodon's a close second, probably. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We are almost to 10,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that. I've always wanted to hit 10,000 on YouTube. I cannot thank you enough for all the uh, support and and just all the appreciation that you guys have gave me on my channel lately. I I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. It'll probably be an MTD uh, video, um, and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.